Hey, welcome back to Jazz Time. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online, and if you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. We greatly appreciate if you purchase your next watch from us at JazzTime.com. Today we'll be taking a look at the Rolex Datejust 36. This one with a white dial, Roman numeral hour marks with the ever, or sorry, the yellow gold rolls or look here so you have both the yellow gold fluted bezel with the yellow gold and steel bracelet in jubilee reference number 126233 i'll be going over all the aspects of this watch the case the bezel the dial the crown functions as well as the movement and the bracelet and i'll be giving you my thoughts on these throughout this video so starting off with the case we do have 36 millimeters from finger to thumb that's the diameter of the case from the two o'clock to eight o'clock position same as the 10 to 4 o'clock position, same 36 millimeters. It's in the name, Datejust 36. You also have a monoblock middle case here with the screw down case back and the Rolex winding crown to ensure water resistance down to 100 meters or 300, 330 feet below sea level. Excuse me. Well, you have an overall high polish finish here made of oyster steel. So, oyster steel. Uh, being the highest grades of steel mixed with other materials and minerals to make a very, very high polish and highly lustrous presentation while still maintaining the absolute integrity of very, very strong steel, the highest grades of steel. Sitting on the very front of the case here, we do have a fluted bezel, also high polish as is the rest of the case. But here, the fluting uh, was originally made with the intent of screwing directly onto the front of the case to ensure the water resistance of the watch. But modern technology will sort of deem that not really necessary anymore. And so it's only kept as a mark of distinction. And in this case, it's kept in yellow gold, as you can see. It just sort of fits in with the overall color scheme of the watch. Speaking of the color scheme, we do have a white dial here with matching 18 karat yellow gold Roman numeral hour marks. Nice and big numerals on the bottom. A good choice of the large four there rather than the uh, IV, but rather the four uh, hash marks or four index marks or you know four singles in order to very nicely balance out the eight at the eight o'clock position when it comes to the horizontal uh, sort of balance there at least. You have the Rolex crown at the 12 o'clock position and the date aperture, small on the dial, but nice and big under the Cyclops lens, all part of that. Well, the Cyclops lens itself being a part of the Sapphire crystal, nice and scratch resistant. You also have a nice minute track going around the peripheral of the dial, makes it easy for setting the time. And speaking of which, setting the time is rather easy, but first, Unwind the crown at the three o'clock position at, and at the very default position for the winding crown, you can just simply wind the watch. So if you're at a dead stop, about 20 to 30 full winds will get you to the full power reserve. Rather simple there. All right, pull the crown out to the next position. You can advance the date by one. It's about between an eighth and a quarter turn. So I wanna say it's a quarter turn, could be an eighth of a turn. It's very, very fast in setting the quick set date. It's basically unrestricted rapid setting. You can set this at any time of the day. You don't have to do it uh, between 6 a.m. and say 9 p.m. You can do it near midnight if you so desired and that's perfectly fine. Pull the crown out to the final position. Note that the seconds hand does stop giving you that hacking function so you can set the minute hand and by extension also the hour hand as well by rotating the crown and simply place the minute hand precisely wherever it needs to go based on the position of that seconds hand. Wait for an atomic clock to roll around. Press the crown back in and get that second hand started once more. Press or and also remember to screw in the winding crown back into the case to ensure the water resistance of the watch. Now, what makes all of this work on the inside? You can't see it through the case back, but you do have that solid steel as a good security measure there. It's made in-house 3235 uh, caliber, made again in-house by Rolex. It has a plus or minus two second per day time differential after casing, giving you the superlative chronometer certification as printed on this and every Rolex style. You also have a center hour, minute, and seconds hands with the instantaneous date, again with the unrestricted rapid setting, and the stop seconds for a precise time setting. All those features I had just demonstrated using just the winding crown alone. The oscillator on the inside features a paramagnetic blue parachrome hairspring with high, high performance Paraflex shock absorbers. 
So what does that mean? That means that you can get relatively close to magnets and circuitry and the like, anything that has electromagnetic, potential electromagnetic interference, and also you can get relatively close to magnets and things like that. And you can also take a few bumps here and there, and there won't be any effect on the timekeeping ability of the movement on the inside of the watch. So basically it'll be keeping time just fine. The winding on the inside is done through a bi-directional self-winding perpetual rotor center mounted uh, directly onto the movement on the inside. So again, you can't see it, but basically you can feel it in some respects and you can certainly see the effects of it just by wearing it on your wrist. The natural movements of your wrist will keep that perpetual rotor spinning in place, winding the mainstream barrel and charging the watch's power reserve, which goes up to 70 hours at a time. So meaning that basically you can set this down on a Friday evening, pick it back up Monday morning the following week, no need to wind the watch. Just wear it all day Monday and you're good to go back to the full power reserve, no problem. And while I'm zoomed out here, you can also see that there is a Jubilee bracelet here, semicircular links, five piece links across with the three middle links being intermediate in a high polish yellow gold, matching that of the fluid bezel and the hands, the relics crown and the Roman numerals, all to prevent tarnishing, of course. You also have a satin brush finish on the steel links on the outside, generally nice tapered down to the oyster folding clasp with the Rolex raised crown just by itself to simply lift the top to open it up to unhook it and you have the full Rolex logo on the inside with a full steel construction. Now the added advantage of having the oyster folding clasp here is the easy link five millimeter extension. So what does that mean? That means you can basically get this watch sized perfectly to your wrist and basically what happens is over time your wrist will generally swell throughout the day and contract as, you know, is it's just natural. So imperceptible to everyone, but you will certainly feel it on your wrist when you have this watch sized perfectly and very form-fittingly. So all you need to do is just reach under here, pull it straight out of the clasp, and there you go, another Jubilee link or basically another five millimeters of comfort extension. So you can continue to wear your watch regardless of the size of your wrist. And when you no longer need it, just simply fold it back in on itself and it clips very nicely into the clasp there. While I'm here, I can also try it on and give you, give you my thoughts as to how it wears on my wrist, seven inches in circumference, all right? And if you know me from my videos on this channel, you already know that 36 millimeter case sizes from Rolex are basically the perfect size for me, at least with my seven inch wrist. If you have a seven and a half inch wrist, you can still wear these even down to six and a half or even six inches, you can still wear these no problem. Nice and easy because not only do you have the perfect framing from the 12 and six o'clock sides of the case from the bracelet, the integrated bracelet, but to me, the 36 millimeter case size really opens up that dial. It's not cramped like in the 31 millimeter version or super spaced out in the 41 millimeter version. The 36 millimeter to me just looks just right with just enough white space and just very nice amounts of breathing room around all the elements, the hour marks, the minute track, the hands themselves, even the Rolex crown, a very good sense of white space there, literally in this case as well. Now taking a look straight down the wrist, you do have almost no overhang and certainly for my wrist, basically zero overhang. And that's also a good thing because there's no chance of it accidentally bumping into say a wayward door frame or door knob or anything like that. It's much less likely to hit something. A tiny bit of space under the lugs, not that that's an issue. Uh, the Jubilee bracelet here does give plenty of uh, breathing room probably second to none in this regard because it's not only incredibly beautiful on the outside it's incredibly comfortable and feels amazing on the inside very soft and supple and not only that it does vent the wrist very nicely so you can continue to wear this watch throughout the entire day without basically taking it off and having a band of sweat around your wrist feels very nice and vents the wrist very nicely as well now taking a look again, face on, incredibly easy to read, especially with the Roman numeral hour marks. Very good entry point if you want to take a, a higher step up into the date just line from Rolex. Uh, and even then, very good to fill in that uh, hole in your collection. Having a very good sort of like Art Deco, -y, Art Deco type of look with the Roman numeral hour marks there. Elegant and classy in its own right. All right, but that's all I all I have to say about this, let us know what you think down in the comments below. What do you think about this Rolex Datejust 36, reference number 126233 with the white Roman dial with the Jubilee bracelet. 
All right, again, the reference number 126233. If you like this video or enjoyed it, just hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live with another video like this one. And as always, if you'd like to purchase this watch or any other watch, visit our store at jazztime.com. Links in the description below where you can get it for the lowest possible price anywhere online. Thanks for watching. Take care. And we'll see you in the next one. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.